that I think about a lot, and I and, and I think it's like it weighs down on me sometimes, is that I don't know how I'ma feel when it's that time for my mama to go. And so with that being said, with that being that thought process is always here. Like every day, it's always there. Like damn, like she's getting older. Like how do you? I don't know how to prepare for that. But the one thing that I've been doing, and at the same time, kind of beat myself up, is trying to spend as much time with her as I can now, by phone calls, replying to text messages. Sometimes I'm not in the mood to talk. You know, respectfully, I just I don't want to be bothered. You know, I don't want to nothing, but. When she texts, I make sure that I always try to text something back. Even if I don't feel like talking, I always try to say something. You know what I'm saying? Answer the phone call. I call her every day, multiple times a day. Um, I want to go over there and, you know, actually sit down and hang out with her. But at the same time, I don't. But that's one thing that's kind of hanging out in my mind. Today is March something, like 11th or 12th, 2024. Uh, and she's fine and dandy right now, but Paul been gone for a minute. But I'm like, damn, what do you do when you lose your mother? And then I'm the backbone of a lot of people. You know, I'm, I'm, I can't, I can't be in the break. You know, I gotta be strong for everybody. Like if my mama goes, you know how many people are gonna be affected? You know, all the way down to the kids. You know, so I gotta be that. I gotta be that person. I, I gotta be strong for everybody. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm a very emotional person. So I don't know how I'm, I'm gonna react. I know for sure I'm not going to no funeral. I'm not doing that. Matter of fact, I might even turn my phone off for the day because I don't want nobody calling me. None of that. You know, I remember what happened with Paul. I tried to get away. You know, I tried to go to the gym, get my mind off of it. People calling me, you need to be here. For what, so I can see a nigga die? You know? That's, 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 this is my, um, my decision. You say, you need to be here to support your mom. I get it. You're right. Maybe I should come through. Then when I get there, I'm in a house full of emotional women. It's just all fucked up, right? Just like my truck, all fucked up. I need to get my truck out to the shop, man. Everybody gonna be affected, bro. Yeah, Maya, four years old right now. It's gonna be all fucked up. What what is your Maya gonna do when she can't go to Granny House no more? She can't call Granny no more, bro. I don't even know how old, I don't even know how old she is. I think she's like late fifties. I think she's born in '64. I don't, I don't even know. Cassandra gonna be fucked up. Everybody gonna be fucked up. So yeah, that's something I just think about a lot. You know, try to like mentally prepare myself, I guess. And I don't know if you can prepare yourself for something like that. See, I can't. If my truck gets down to 46 miles an hour, gonna be fucking up and traffic's move kind of slow like I need to stay above 50 this bitch driving slow and then this dude in front of me start driving slow I gotta stay above 50 in this truck if I get under 46 then I'm gonna have to go above 46 and that hell gonna start it's gonna start jerking but alright that's it man